A man who has not passed through the inferno of his passions has never overcome them. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams. Who looks inside awakes. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. Thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. The greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved but only outgrown. Man needs difficulties. They are necessary for health. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Nothing has a stronger influence psychologically on their environment and especially on their children than the unlived life of the parent. Dreams are the guiding words of the soul. Why should I henceforth not love my dreams and not make their riddling images into objects of my daily consideration? The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. Show me a sane man and I will cure him for you. The debt we owe to the play of imagination is incalculable. The most intense conflicts, if overcome, leave behind a sense of security and calm that is not easily disturbed. It is just these intense conflicts and their conflagration which are needed to produce valuable and lasting results. Neurosis is always a substitute for legitimate suffering. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol, morphine or idealism. Shrinking away from death is something unhealthy and abnormal, which robs the second half of life of its purpose. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. Understanding does not cure evil, but it is a definite help, inasmuch as one can cope with a comprehensible darkness. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. Knowledge rests not upon truth alone, but upon error also.